Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at an easy way to take a model from Unreal Engine 5 and add new animations to it. This could be a model that you got from the marketplace, or maybe you just want to animate the default mannequin model. Either way, this method will work. In order to animate the model, we're going to be using a free piece of software called Cascador. Cascador is free software that allows us to create new animations for our game quicker and easier than ever before. If you don't already have it, we're going to go over where to get it and how to get started with it. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the model we're going to be animating. I got this model for free in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. It's provided by Epic Games and you're allowed to use it any way that you want. So if you need to get this model, let's go ahead and open up the Epic Games Launcher and we'll go to the Marketplace. As soon as that loads up, we'll go to search and we'll type in Paragon. Quang. That's K-W-A-N-G. We'll hit enter. And you can see it's right here. You can go ahead and click on it. So go ahead and add the model to your library. After that, click add to project and then select a project that you want to install the model into. Once you've done that, go ahead and open the project and you'll see right here in the content browser, there's a new folder called Paragon Quang. We can expand that. And if we go to characters, heroes, Quang, meshes we can see there's a few different meshes that we can play around with all right so just go ahead and pick one that you like i'm just going to go with this default one quang gdc so now we need to go ahead and export the model go ahead and right click it Go up to Asset Actions and Export. Save it somewhere where you'll remember because we're going to need to load this model into Cascador. I just kept the default name, hit Save, then hit Export. So if you don't already have it, it's time to go ahead and get Cascador. Go to their website, cascador.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you'll see a Get Started button right here. Click on that. And you'll see some various options here for pricing. We're going to use the free one, but if you want to purchase and support them, go ahead. I'm just going to hit get started under free. And you have three download options, Windows, Linux, and Mac. So I'm using Windows, so I'll hit download and I'll go ahead and install it. Okay, so now we're ready to do the install. I just ran the installer that I downloaded. Click the next button. Next. Next. Install. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to uncheck Create Desktop Shortcut. You can leave that if you want, um, and I'm going to leave Run Cascador selected. So let's hit Finish. All right, so you should be greeted with a login screen kind of like this. If you haven't already, you're going to need to go ahead and make a new account. I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, as soon as you log in, you'll be presented with an option to choose a dark or light theme. I like dark themes, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we're on the home screen for Cascador. We're going to go ahead and click New Scene. And we're going to go over here to File, Import FVX. So go ahead and browse to the exported file from earlier and select it. It's going to ask you if you want to enter rig mode. Say yes. It's going to ask you if you want to use the quick rigging tool. Go ahead and say yes. It says the character cannot be fully recognized. Please check if all bones match and click Add Rig Elements at the bottom of the window. Okay, let's see what's going on. So in this screen, this is the quick rigging tool. Basically, we're saying, here's our bones here on the left, and here's where they correlate to on the right. So we see we're missing the left-handed weapon, the right-handed weapon, and this chest bone. I'm not as worried about the weapon bones for this, but this chest bone is going to cause some problems, so we need to fix that. All right, so let's go back into Unreal Engine and see if we can figure out which bone didn't get set up correctly. We'll double-click the model. Click on the skeleton here on the top right. And let's see our list of bones. We know from Cascador, if we look back here, it looks like it's this one that's gray that didn't get set up correctly. So let's... See if we can identify it here. And usually that happens if the name of the bone isn't the same as what Cascador is expecting. So in this case, it's expecting a bone called chest. 
So let's see. It's probably called something different. We know that there's a spine bone, so let's take a look at that. So we have spine 01. That looks a little low. Spine 2. Spine 3. Okay, so spine 3 looks like it's the last spine bone. And it's probably in about the right position. So let's go back to Cascador. Let's see if we can find spine. Actually, we can type in the filter right here. Okay, spine 03. We're just going to drag this bone right here to the chest section where it says none. And now spine 03 should be set. And let's take a look at the rest. The rest are looking pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and click add rig elements. It says your hinge has a problem with auto posing for Steve. Let's just go ahead and continue and see how it works. And it asks if we want to generate the rig. We do. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, so we have our model in Cascador. So for those of you who don't know, I'll give you a quick rundown on how to navigate this. We can use our middle mouse button to zoom in and out, and we can hold the Alt key and use the left mouse button to rotate around. If we hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button, we can pan the camera. And if we hold the Alt key and use the right mouse button, we can zoom in and out. So that's about it when it comes to navigation. The cool thing about Cascador is it's really smart when it comes to making animations. So it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. For example, we can click on this arm here and we can kind of move it forward and you can see it's actually moving the entire body in the direction that I'm moving rather than me having to, you know, adjust the torso and things like that. It even does the same thing for the legs. You can see here. So another thing to pay attention to at the bottom here, this is where we have keyframes. So the first keyframe is set on frame zero. If we go over to like say frame 20 and we press the F key or you can click this little key icon here, you add another keyframe. All right, so now we have a keyframe added. Let's go ahead and make a change. I think I'll slide this foot back. Maybe slide this foot forward. And I'll rotate the body a little bit. And then we'll skip over another 20 frames to frame 40. We'll hit F. And maybe we'll just slide this foot back. Fix this arm. I'm really just playing around at this point. I don't have a target animation in mind. I'm just moving the model. And let's go to frame 60. We'll add another keyframe. One cool thing we can do is we can select a bone, like this foot here, and we can press R, and that locks it in place. So no matter what I do, that foot is now stationary. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have a pose here, we have a pose here, here, and here. So you may be wondering, what about all the frames in between? Because we don't want just these random poses. What we can do is we can click the first frame and we can click frame 60 and we can go over here to step and we can choose Bezier clamped. And that's going to go ahead and fill in all of the frames in between. So if we hit play, you can see the animation now is filled in keyframes. And another thing we can do is click this little blue button right here. This makes the timeline fit on the screen and it allows the animation to loop correctly. So just go ahead, play around with the model, and see if you can strike up a cool pose.
So another thing is if you kind of screw up and the model starts looking really crazy, you can go over here and click box controller mode. Press control A to select everything. Go to commands at the top and click go to T pose. And that's going to reset your model for you. After that, if you want to get back into auto pose, you can click on this little icon right here and auto pose mode will turn on. All right, so after a little bit of work, I've built this animation and I know it's not the best in the world, but it's good for testing. I'm going to go ahead and export this now. So the way we can do that is we can go to file and we want to hit export FBX slash DAE and we want to do it without meshes. So we'll do that and we'll say test animation or just call it whatever you want really. And we're going to go back to Unreal Engine. And I guess right here is good. We'll go ahead and click Import. And we'll pick our test animation. We'll hit Open. The important thing to do is make sure you've selected the right skeleton. If you pick the wrong skeleton, it's not going to look right. So you need to make sure you select the one that uh, corresponds with your model. Go ahead and click Import All. And let's see what we got. There it is. There's my animation. So guys, I hope you found this useful. That's a quick and easy way that you can take a model from the marketplace or one that's preloaded in Unreal and you can export it out and make new animations for it. If you found this useful, go ahead and click like and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more coming soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.